Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle by Bonnie called Harmony by giving you the secret to spotting Christmas Sudoku X-Wings. Not only that, stay tuned. A little bit later in the video, I will give you an announcement that I guarantee will double your solving fun. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. Okay, I have solved this puzzle before, and I'm going to kind of show you a few things and tricks you need to get through this solve. First, we're going to use some Snyder Notation. And you know, there's only two places for one up there in block three. And then if you want to kind of cut across and look through this puzzle, you'll notice that you can't have a four there. So fours are limited to two spots here in block five, and it makes a pointing pair. So that means the fours are limited to these two spots here in block six because of this four coming down and this four and the pointing pair of fours. Uh, other things you want to kind of point out here is you probably notice right there that that's a three four naked pair right three and four can't go anywhere else there we can't do anything else about that just yet uh but let's look across the twos you got twos in row seven eight so the only place for us for two is right there and then with uh the ones the ones are a pointing pair right here as well and so then the ones are limited to these two spots down there in block seven so i'm going to do a lot of snyder i think snyder is kind of the way to get you set up for that x-wing like i said i have saw this before and i'm just trying to help you get to the spot where you're going to need those uh, need that x-wing it's a great it's a fun puzzle i enjoy this i like these holiday themed puzzles that uh, the setter has been given to me and i want to share that with you okay three three two spots for three here i'll make that mark sweet and now i'm looking where else do I want to go? Okay, two spots for four there. And I will make some solving here pretty soon, I promise. So, for example, two is a limit of those two spots there. So it's a pointing pair of twos. And you got this two cutting across. And you got these two twos. So we can actually solve this L for a two. And then that makes that a one. We displace the Snyder. Anytime you do that, you know you're going to be solving right away. Nice job there. All right. What else do I want to show you? Well, you notice now, since a one can't be here or here, Ones are limited to one of those two spots there in block uh, five. So I can make that mark. And then I'm looking here, seven, seven, two spots for seven right there. We'll make that mark as well. All right, six and six, two spots for six here. You're probably like, Timberly, can you do some more solving, please? I will get to it, I promise. And I will set you up. I want to get you to that spot where you're going to be like, oh, awesome. X-Wings, love them. Okay, how about this 8 and this 8? Maybe if I caught that sooner, I could have made that mark quicker. So the 8's there, the 3 is there, and the 7 is there. This is going to give us a nice looking uh, naked triple. And so I'll just make the mark real quick. But you can see here with the 1, 1, and the 4, we can actually solve all three of those cells. So if 1, 4, 5, we know with the 1 and 4 there, this has got to be your 5. And with the 1 in column 7, this is going to be your 4, and that's going to be your 1. So nice solve there, see? Gonna catch up for you. And then when you look across here, you got two, six, nine, two, six, nine, and this can't be a two. We'll get back to that. And what is in these three cells? We're missing a one, a three, it looks like five. So we got the three, three. I know this has got to be your three, and this is gonna be a one, five. Since that's a one, five, this will have to be a two, four, and then up here. We're missing a one and a five. Obviously, you see the one right there. So that's a one and that's a five. So you do get some play in this puzzle. We are marking some and solving some cells, but you are going to get to the point where you get stuck and you need that X-Wing. And we're getting close to that spot. And that's what I'll reveal my special announcement. So let's keep on working here. Um, something kind of curious here. They got this eights and the eights. So the eights are limited to those two spots there. And if you kind of notice the seven comes up and the seven comes over, so seven is limited to those two spots. There's a neat little pattern Bonnie put in here, and I love this. And the sixes come across and up. So the six is only two spots in block three. And then the nine cutting across, only two spots for a nine. Uh, we'll be able to use those marks a little bit later, I believe. So what else can we do? Because we're getting to the spot where it's getting a little limited. And you're going to see that the solving part is going to drop a little bit. So when we have threes here and this three, so we can just do some more Snyder marks. And then with the eight cutting across here and up here, there's only two spots for an eight. 
uh, but those aren't solving the cells for us. So we need something a little bit more. So I want to kind of focus on these eights. These eights seem to have some limitations here, and there's quite a few of them, right? One, two, three, four, five eights in this puzzle. So let's look in column three, and let's look in column seven. Where can eights be in column three and seven? You might notice that three can be there, or sorry, an eight can be there, but it can't be here, and it can't be there. It could be here, but it can't be there because of that eight. So two spots for an eight in column three. Let's look over here in column seven and see with this eight, an eight can't be here, but it could be here. And it can't be here because of this eight, but it can be up there. So look at that. What is that? We make that mark. That is an X-wing. So we have the same candidate. It's in the same two rows in, the, in these two columns. So the base sets are these columns three and seven, and the cover sets, the place where we're gonna make eliminations are along rows one and seven. This is great. And I love how Bonnie put this in here to make a nice cool X-wing for Christmas. All right, so you got, you know, an AT that gotta be here and here, or it's gotta be there and there. That's where the X comes from. And what it means is we can make, again, make those eliminations across this way. And it's gonna lead to a, a very cool elimination right there. But before I get to show you what that is, I want to make my special announcement. I have another Bondi puzzle for you, and it's going to be on my Buy Me a Coffee page. All you have to do is watch this video. At the bottom, I have a link to my Buy Me a Coffee page. You click on there, and you'll see it posted along with actually another puzzle I'll do by Yoshi Broshi. Check it out. It's exclusive. You won't find it on my regular YouTube channel. You'll only find it by going to Buy Me a Coffee. So double your fun and get two great holiday-themed solving puzzles by Bondi. All right. Let's, let's see what we can solve for this cell right here. So it can be a 1. It uh, can't be a 1 or a 2. It can't be a 3, 4, or a 5, 6, or 7. And we just proved this cannot be an 8. So it has to be a 9. We can solve that cell for a 9 using our great X-Wing. And the other thing we can do with this X-Wing is we can actually eliminate a, an 8 from this cell here. I'll make that mark just so I don't forget that we can't have an 8 there. So this can't be a 1 or a 2. It could be a 3. Can't be a 4 or a 5. Can't be a 6. It could be a 7. Can't be an 8. Could be a 9. So this is actually a 3, 7. And so I'll mark that as well. And if you're just not quite familiar with X-Wings, maybe you're new to the channel, you haven't heard me talk about it before, um, I have a great X-Wing tutorial. I'll put a link to that. You can check that out and I'll explain everything about how the X-Wings work and how to spot them. But this is a special way of finding them in puzzles like this. You kind of want to look for many candidates and restrictions along the rows and columns, then you'll be able to solve. Cool. All right, let's get back to this. We put this 9 here. What does that do for us? Well, we know that can't be a 9 anymore. And then uh, that should also create some more great solves. What else can we do? The nine, nine, three spots for a nine there. Okay. And then cutting across, looks like this nine and this nine now makes a six, nine uh, hidden pair. So the six and nine limit those two spots. That should be helpful for us. Because now what I'm seeing is now the sevens. Are going to be part of the six seven nine naked triple so hopefully you see that this is a naked triple and you know, I mean we can eliminate the nine from right here but six seven nine limited those three spots but the sevens are limited in column eight to block eight and so the sevens are actually what we call a claiming pair and since the sevens are limited down there a seven can't be anywhere else in the block so what does that mean it means this can no longer be a seven and we can solve that cell for a three. So I love how Bonnie took the X-Wing over there and both cells that we made eliminations, we could actually do some solving. That's great. And I'm gonna remind you, please stay tuned. I'll actually put a link to another great Bondi puzzle after uh, the end of this video, but you wanna stay tuned and keep watching because we're not done solving it. There's still a lot of great play left in this puzzle. Okay, what else can we do? So we solve the three there and three there. Now we can solve this naked pair that we'd saw at the very beginning of the thing. And now with this four cutting across, this can no longer be a four. Whenever we displace the Snyder mark, we know we can make a solve. And so we got that four. And so we've started to make some great 
solving. And now with this three cutting across here and this three coming up means this is the only place left for a three in block two, which means we can solve that for a two, that for a four, that for a two. Nice. And now we make those solves. Uh, we only got two cells left here to solve. It's going to be a five and a nine. We got the nine right there. So here's your nine and here's your five. All right. And now we can make sense of these six, nine, and compare. And with the six means now we can actually solve this for a seven and that for a nine. Nine, nine, uh, making great, great progress here. All right, what else can we do? Okay, we got this five, which means this has to be a one, that has to be a five. Follow me through to the end, and let's see how many of these markings we can eliminate as we're working through the solve. And so now I know I got a four and a seven remain here. There's my four. So here's your four, here's your seven. Nice. And then what's that going to do for a seven, seven, seven? I'm going to go immediately to cross hatch and go, this has got to be my seven, which makes this an eight because I displaced that mark. And now up here, we can get rid of that mark, and we can solve this for seven. I love cleaning up these marks as we go. And this three means that can no longer be a three. So this must be your three up there. Awesome. And what do we have left here? It looks like a five and a six. Well, I see the six. So here's your five, and here's your six. And I'm just going to keep looking for where I have the greatest restrictions, right? We can get rid of that six right there. So two, six, nine, can't solve that. But what do we have? In these two cells it's going to be a five and it's going to be an eight can we do that yep yep because of this five it means the five is restricted up there this means this has to be an eight it means we can solve that for an eight because we're removing the eight from right here and replacing it with a seven okay we're looking here what else do we have it looks like we need a four and an eight so here's your eight and there's your four great now eight eight Got the eight there. Okay, all that's making sense. And then let's look, what do we have here? Get rid of that nine mark, of course, because it might be distracting us, knowing this has to be a one, because that alone Snyder mark means that has to be your six. Awesome. And so let's finish this out. What are we missing? A five and a six here. There's your five. So we know that's got to be your five. That's got to be your six. And then let's just take this six over and see if there's something we can do there. Six, six, six coming down. Actually can't solve the six yet, but... We see that there's a one right here. That means that's gotta be your one. That's gotta be your two. Now we can solve the two, six, nine up here. Six, nine, and the two. Got rid of all those marks. Love to see that. Got a full house here across the bottom. What are we missing? A six. If you got that, you're doing great with the cross hatching. Two more full houses. Uh, one of them, we're missing a five. So that's gotta be your five. And then this would have to be your nine. If I haven't revealed all of Bondi's secrets, check out this other video. You're going to get some great solving out of it. Don't forget that Buy Me A Coffee link to get the special bonus video as well. Thank you so much, Bondi, for letting me feature puzzle on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays.